hello and welcome back to my channel in today's video i will be showing you how to draft a princess that bustier this is going to be a half bodies bustier and it's going to be a very detailed tutorial please watch the end of the video thank you to all my subscribers and all those who make out time to check my videos thank you very much and if you have not subscribed please click on the subscribe button and on the notification bell to be notified each time I upload a new video. Thank you. To determine the width of our pattern paper, we we'll have to divide our biggest body circumference by 4 and add extra 4 to 5 inches to that. And the biggest body circumference I'm working with is my bust circumference, which is 38. So 38 divided by 4 will give me 9.5. And I will be adding extra 4 to 5 inches to that to get the width of my pattern paper. And you also do the same if you are cutting directly on your fabric. The only thing is that your fabric will have to be on fold. You also have to determine the length of your pattern paper or of your fabric. That is the length from the shoulder to the half length. And the half length I'm working with in this video is 16.5. I also went ahead to label my lines. I have some lines drawn out. My shoulder line, my bust line, my under bust line, and my half length line. From my shoulder to my bust point line is 10.5. And from my shoulder to my under bust is 14.5. And from my shoulder to my half length is 16.5 inches. To get my chest line, I will be dividing my armhole circumference by 2 to get my chest line. My armhole circumference is 17 inches. 17 inches divided by 2 will give me 8.5 inches. Then I will be marking from my shoulder line to 8.5 inches. And I will draw a line across like you see me do. I will draw a line across from my shoulder to the 8.5 inches and that will be my chest line then on my shoulder line I will be imputing the 3 inches 8 inches standard for neck slope and then on the end inches point I'll come down by 1 inch and connect to the 3 inches point I made and also on my chest line I'll be imputing half of my shoulder measurement I'll also impute same measurement on my chest line and connect as you see me do half of my shoulder measurement is 8.5 inches i will check what i have from the slope to my chest line the line i've drawn and i'll find the middle point of that line and come in by half an inch to make my front armhole curve then on my chest line i'll be imputing 9.5 inches which is quarter of my bust circumference and then i'll use a curve an armhole curve to connect these points together from my chest line to the half inch I came in by and then to the shoulder slope point. This will form my front armhole. To make our darts, we'll be using half of our bust pan measurement, which is also known as the nipple to nipple measurement. And the bust pan half of my bust pan measurement is four. Then I will be adding half inch seam allowance to that, and I'll be noting. 4.5 on both my bust line my under bust line and on my waistline and i'll connect these lines together with a ruler then for me to take my dart, i'll be taking in my dart on my waist line i will be taking in two inches dart, and then on my under bust line i'll be taking in two and a half inches dart. The waistline on the inner side I'll be taking in half an inch dart and on the other side of the line I'll be taking one and a half inches for my dart. Then on my under bust line I will be taking quarter an inch, inch more of what I already took on both sides on my waistline. I'll be taking three quarter inch on the left side and I'll be taking one and three quarter inch on the right side on my underbot line making it a total of 2.5 inches what this means is that the dart on the underbust is half inch more than the dart we removed on the waistline 
So I'll be connecting the points together from the waistline to the under bust, the dart lines, I'll connect them together. Then on the bust point line, I'll be coming down by one inch and then using my armhole curve, I'll be connecting the dart legs on the under bust to this one inch I came down by. Then I will check what I have on my armhole. I would take the measurement of my armhole, my front armhole, and whatever I have, I will divide that by two. And what I have on my front armhole is 8.5. I will divide that by two to get the midpoint of that, which is 4.25. I would note that on my armhole. And then from that point, I will come down by half an inch. And from that half an inch I came down by, I'll be connecting it to the bust span line on the bust point. I'll be connecting that point I came down by on the armhole. I'll be connecting it to the line on the bust point line. Then I will be taking that on both sides of the line I've just drawn on the armhole. I'll be taking three quarter of an inch on both sides of this line and then I will connect it back to the line on the bust point line. I'll take three quarter inch on both sides and I'll connect these lines back to the line on the bust point line as you see me do. Then for me not to have any shortage, I'll be checking the dots I've removed from my armhole and that is 1.5 inches and I'll be replacing it the 1.5 inches, I'll replace it like you see me do. I'll add 1.5 inches and extend the line and then connect it back to my armhole. This is to make sure that we don't have any shortage when we are sewing up our top. Then I'll use my curve ruler to blend the, the bust point line. To avoid sharp edges when I'm cutting it out, I'll blend all the sharp edges using my armhole curve to make sure that everything is uh, well curved and not sharp. Then I will be checking the measurement, what I'll be the that I'll be cutting out from the chest line, and I have about half an inch, <coughs> and I'll be replacing that on my chest line from the measurement of my bust line. I'll be adding extra half an inch to that. To make up for the dart that I'll be cutting out. On my waistline, I'll be imputing quarter of my waist measurement plus the two inches that I'll be removing, cutting out from the waist. Quarter of my waist measurement is eight inches plus the two inches I'll be removing for my dart on the waist. That will make it ten inches, and I'll be imputing ten inches on my waist line. I will also be adding two and a half inches seam allowance to the waistline, one inch for joining the darts together and one and a half inches for the side seam. I'll also add two and a half inches seam allowance to the chest line. Now connect the two points together. I'll connect the line on the chest line to that on the waistline. I'm also drawing another line to indicate our two and a half inches seam allowances. These allowances are the allowances for joining the darts, the two sides of the darts together. We have one inch for joining the darts together and one and a half inch side seam allowance. So I'll go ahead and separate our dart allowance, the allowance for joining our darts from the allowance from joining our seam, the front um, side of our uh, pattern to the back side. So the inner side, the, the one inch allowance is for joining the dust together and the one and a half inches allowance is for joining the front pattern to the back pattern. For my neckline, I would be maintaining the neck width of three inches and a neck depth of three inches. And I will then use my armhole curve to connect these points together. That will be for my front neck line.
I'll also add my joining allowance of half inch to the waist. After the waistline, I'll take half an inch for joining. And also on my shoulder sl slope, I'll be taking half an inch joining allowance for joining the two shoulders together. And I'll join the points like this. I'll also use my curve rule to blend out all sharp edges before cutting out my pattern. Then I will go ahead and cut out my pattern. Just cut and make sure you do not cut the dart point to be sharp so that it will not be difficult when you're joining them together. Please also take note that before you cut out your pattern, you check again to make sure that your measurements are okay, that you've added back all the darts and the allowances properly in order not to have shortage. And that is it for our front pattern. For our back pattern, I've also ruled out some lines, the shoulder line, and from shoulder to chest is 8.5, and shoulder to waist is 16.5, and I will also add the half inch joining allowance I added to the front pattern, I will also be adding that to the back pattern. And as you can see, I've drawn out another line before I started taking all these measurements, which is going to be my zipper allowance. And all my measurements will be starting from that zipper allowance line. And for my zipper allowance, I have 1.5 inches. I have 1.5 inches for my zipper allowance. Please, like I said before, all my measurements will start from the zipper allowance line. And also when folding your fabric or when you're using your pattern, you'll be using your biggest body circumference as well, just like we did for the front pattern. That is 9.5 inches plus whatever you want to use for your zipper allowance plus one and a half inches. Then I'll be taking my shoulder slope the three inch eight inches mark and i'll be coming down by half an inch for the back um, shoulder slope that is because the back shoulder is higher than the front shoulder so i'll be coming down by half an inch then on my shoulder line i'll also be taking half of my shoulder measurements and also be doing that on my chest line and connecting the lines as you see me do then on my waistline and also on my chest line, I'll be imputing half of my bust span measurement, which is four inches. I'll impute half of that and connect the points together using my ruler. Then from my chest line, I'll be coming down by one inch. And then on the waistline, I'll be taking half inch on both sides of this line and connect it to the one inches I came down by. And that will be the dart for the back pattern. I will check what I have from my shoulder slope to my chest line. I will find the center of that and also make a curve for my back armhole. I will make a curve for my back armhole like you see me do. On my chest line, I'll also be imputing quarter of my bust measurements and then 1.5 inches seam allowance. And on my waist measurements, I'll be putting quarter of my waist measurements plus the 1 inch for that intake and then 1.5 inches seam allowance. On our zipper allowance, in order to avoid zip bulge, I'll be removing half inches on the waistline i'll be marking half inches like you see me do and then i'll be connecting that back to the chest line point on the zipper allowance um, side i'll be connecting it like so and then i'll be remarking my zipper allowance of 1.5 inches along the line i'll be cutting out to rejoin and form my new zip allowance I will just be doing that. I will be marking 1.5 inches from the line I will be cutting off. And then I will join them together, rejoin it to form my new zip allowance. Because of this half inch I will be cutting out from the zipper allowance side, I will be adding half inch on my waist uh, 
side like you see me do i'll be adding back this half inch on my waistline and then connect my waist measurement to my chest line measurement also to avoid the back part being lower than the front part i'll be removing from my center back from the zipper allowance side i'll be coming up by 1.25 inches i'll come up by 1.25 inches on the zipper allowance side and then i'll be connecting this point to the side seam of the back like you see me do i'll be connecting it to the side seam before the allowance of joining them together the back and the front together i'll connect it together and i'll be cutting off this part to avoid the back going lower than the front then for my neck line, I'll be taking a neck depth of 1 inch and maintaining the neck width of 3 inches that we have in front. And I'll connect like so. I'll also be adding the half inch shoulder allowance I added to the front as well to the back. And I'll connect them together. I would then cut out my back pattern. When cutting the back pattern as well, check to make sure that all your measurements are correct and that you have added all your allowances. I also have on my channel a tutorial on how to cut an off-shoulder princess dart bustier and I will be dropping the link in the description box. Please try to check that out. If this tutorial has been helpful, please give me a thumbs up. And please subscribe to my channel if you have not subscribed and also click on the notification bell to be notified each time I upload a new video. And also as for our back uh, pattern, please take note that while cutting, you'll be cutting two of it. And for the center front, you'll be cutting on fold. For the center front, you'll be cutting on fold. And the side front, you'll be cutting two pieces of it as well. Thank you for watching. And until my next video, bye.